So this question, immediately we can tell this is gonna be a system of equations, which pretty much always shows up at least once, typically more than once on these tests. Um, but we see something strange here, right? The first equation has a K instead of a typical coefficient in front of the X term. So let's add, let's look, read the question, see what they're asking us to do. Remember that for systems of equations, we're typically going to need to use either elimination or substitution. So the question says, in the system of equations above, K is a constant and X and Y are variables. For what value of K will the system of equations have no solution? Okay, so that's very important. What does it mean for a system of equations to have no solution? So um, no solution when you're dealing with a system of equations means that the best way to, the best way to put it is to say that X and Y both get eliminated. Okay. So then how would we, so let me just rewrite this. If I have kx minus 3y equals 4 and 4x minus 5y equals 7, what could I do to make sure that both x and y get eliminated? Well, because I don't know what k is, therefore I don't immediately know how to eliminate x, but I do see that I have a negative 3 for my y value and a negative 5, and sorry, in front of my y value on the bottom. So if I multiply the top by negative 5 and the bottom by positive 3, I would get a negative 5kx plus 15y equals negative 20. Because that's a 4 here. And then on bottom, I'd have 12x minus 15y equals 21. Okay. So now I know for sure that my y's will cross out. But what about my x's? I want them to cross out as well. Well, how would that happen? How would a negative 5kx added to a 12x cross out? Well, the only way that would be possible is if negative 5k equaled negative 12, right? So if negative 5k equals negative 12, then I'd have this coefficient here would become a negative 12, and then that's how like the negative 12x and positive 12x will cross out. So let's simplify this. In order for negative 5k to equal negative 12, I can divide by five on, negative 5 on both sides, k would need to equal positive 12 fifths, right? In doing so, my x crosses out, my y crosses out, and I end up with something that says 0 equals um, 1, which is not true. And more importantly than it not being true, it is what we look for in a system of equations that has no solution, right? We look for um, a statement at the end of this where the X and Y is crossed out and that last statement is not true. So because of that, K equaling 12 over 5 is what we would need in order to make the statement not true at the end here in order, in order for the X values or the X and the Y to both eliminate. And therefore, the answer here is choice A.